I'd have punched your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. No, no of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just... Don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Can you just... I don't know, just let us out? Seriously? Well, you said it yourself. Trip overreacted. Look, I'm just here to clean up your laceration. Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. I've never understood it. If I Are you calling me off. pretty? <laughs> I was talking about Eli, the dead guy. Oh, yeah, good. Because I prefer dashing. Or debonair, maybe. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and then she went crazy over nothing? The situation is out of But things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. If you really want to help me, let us out of this cage. Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you to that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? Es ist besser als nix. Vor allem jetzt weiterziehen, wenn die Herde da ist, bringt auch nicht. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip. It doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they could need a medic. No, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? When you do that for me... It's just... It's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, is... And maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Hmm. Na gut, aber wir haben ja keine Anhaltspunkte. Und eigentlich Clementine vertrauen wir ja auch nicht so. Also ich würde sagen, Familie geht vor. Wir versuchen schnell zur Familie zu kommen. Also gehen wir heute Nacht mit Eleanor. We are leaving tonight with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. All right. I'm in. You know, when I met you, 
I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. Sounds like Eleanor will be a little while. Maybe we should get a few winks. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now just stay on the road. And Kenny. <laughs> Most important Ooh. rule there is. Now let's try shifting into second. Not bad at all. Especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, alright? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Yeah, I like this. Driving is fun. Guckt auf die Straße. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket? The duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but something. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child his age. Then again, Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and look how he turned out. Crap! I got it. Turn the wheel. Don't. feel anything. Th that's good. Oh, Clem, I don't feel anything. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. God damn it. Just, just give it a second. You went through a windshield. Uh, let me try again. Shit, shit. Hey, hey, stay away from him. Got 
to go help AJ Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. No, I won't give up on you! No, Clementine, no! There's no point! Come on, Kenny, help me! Not today, you son of a bitch! Go! Don't look back! Jetzt gerade hängt alles irgendwie. Bitte nicht. Jetzt hör auf zu hängen. Bitte jetzt. Ja, jetzt geht's wieder. Sun's up. <sighs> Trip's probably mad as hell by now. What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Trip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. Not that he's weird about it or anything. Relationships can change pretty fast, and they're never not complicated. Sounds like you've got something on your mind. Or someone. Guys, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Oh, shit. Guns out, yeah? If you insist. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Ja, ich weiß recht schlecht. Ein Hammer. Nimm den Hammer. said block yourself in and don't come out not even once it's quiet it kept running through my head like on a loop did they hurt you are you okay i hid before they could get to me i'm fine really kate and your brother where are they we got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van and that's where we're headed let's go get your brother back sweetie oh no No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Mariana, stay back. Wait. Nobody shoots. He's right. We fired the truck. We might hit them.
Yes, fucking up. Javi, you found us. Hey, hey, it's okay. I got you. You happy to see me? Na komm. Gross. Come on. I think we get a pass. <sighs> I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. There's no way I would let that happen. Yeah, well, you weren't here. The herd showed up and Mariana was gone and we were waiting and, and waiting and then... I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push our luck. Who's the kid with the gun? Does she have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? She saved my life. Pulled this crazy stunt. Let me get the upper hand on the asshole who took me away from you guys. Her name's Clementine. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Eleanor? <laughs> of course we have hot water. We're not cavemen. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, you know? You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Sort of incredible. Guess I'm a lucky guy. The luckiest. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten our arrangement. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but... Cool. Thanks. Just supposed to let him live? 
If you really want to help your family, you'll come with me. We can't wait anymore. We stay here and we finish this. Are you crazy? We have to go, now! We've already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Eleanor help them. You stay with me. What? No! Javi, you have to come with us! Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. I need your help, folgen, ganz einfach. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. Hobby, don't! Das war schon wieder mit Episode 1. Mega guter Start mal wieder. Nur vielleicht das mit Kenny hätte nicht ganz sein müssen. Äh, und das halt gerade am Ende. Ansonsten kann man glaube ich nicht meckern. Kommen wir mal kurz, wie sich die anderen entschieden haben. Oh, da war es relativ ausgeglichen, was die Entscheidung angeht. Hast du Rufus erschossen oder ihn gehen lassen? 56% ließ ihn auch gehen, wobei das auch relativ ausgeglichen ist, also... Okay. Was geschah nach der Schießerei? Du und 74,7% wurden eingesperrt. Gut. Ich glaube, viele hatten einfach aus den ersten beiden Seasons noch eine starke Sympathie mit Clementine und haben gesagt, komm, egal was ist, wir stehen hinter der. Und... Boah, das war, glaube ich, die richtige Entscheidung. Also die 5,3% kann ich nicht verstehen. Wer, wer hat dich zum Schrottplatz gebracht? 46% Eleanor. 53% Trip. Wie ist der Trip, ne? Gut, einerseits hätte man denken können, klar, Clementine war für Trip. Man vertraut Clementine, also nimmt man Trip. Andererseits, ne, so schnell wie möglich, was wäre passiert, wenn wir mit Trip erst gegangen wären? Der hätte unsere Familie schon tot sein können. Bist du bei deiner Familie gef Bist du bei deiner Fam Bist du mit deiner Familie geflohen oder bei Clementine geblieben? 93 äh, 83, Prozent sind geblieben, 16 sind geflohen. Gut, ich habe mir gedacht, äh, damit die unserer Familie nicht folgen können, müssen wir sie auslöschen. Ganz einfach. Ja, das war's mal mit der ersten Episode. Die zweite wird dann irgendwann die Tage jetzt auch nochmal online kommen, die dritte dann sobald sie verfügbar ist. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen. Hoffe, ihr seid beim nächsten Mal auch wieder dabei und ja, ich denke mal, die nächste werde ich mir jetzt noch geben, weil irgendwie bin ich wieder im Fieber drin. Vielen Dank, macht's gut, haut rein und genießt jetzt noch das schöne Outro.